Hi, this is Danny Doyle, and uh, it's time to upgrade Artharja to a Henry. Um, a lot of these clears do not have room for both of them. Uh, on a route map, there might be a place for both of them. But this is just a strict upgrade. Um, the only reason that we used a Master Seal on Tharja instead of Henry is that I wanted a Nosferatu mage for the Seacomers. Um, but now we have Henry instead of Tharja, um, who his stats were already just barely short of hers even after she got promoted. So now he's eclipsed her um, as the Nos tank of choice. Uh, so she he'll be taking her stuff. Um, as for this map, um, I've done some thinking. I think approaching it through this door is the way to go, because, uh, so Shersh, with her 13 move, um, can actually, with a single dance, get there from somewhere around here. Um, the problem being that there are, you know, these snipers I don't want to get murked by uh so i think the plan as of right now is just don't get murked by snipers lol um which sounds like a good plan um i'll be right back to show you my attempt at the map clear um, worth noting, I hate this fucking map. I hate it on vanilla. I'm not playing it on 0% growth, so I'm just skipping the boss. Uh, I'm not getting the boots because of that. They would be nice. They would be really nice. But they would require me to actually engage with this map in a way other than just killing the boss immediately. Um, and it's already bad enough that I can't just immediately do a turn one. Um, with like a warp or something because they don't have warps. I'm also not getting the killer bow like that sucks But uh, the other treasures on the map like The boots are the one that I really miss. There's a bullion and a master seal and a seraph robe that would all be nice uh, but nothing That is so Essential But yeah, um we're going to be, this is going to be, this is certainly going to be a clear of sorts. Anyway, uh, join us for the, the actual map clear. Be right back. All right. Uh, so I generally really hate this map. Um, in vanilla and... It appears that 0% growth is not an exception to that. We'll go ahead and do you. Uh, I gotta give a rally speed and a speed tonic to um, Frederick or, or not Frederick, uh, Gregor, or he gets doubled and killed. Additionally, I want to give the rally speed to Anna because uh, she has to do some dodging. Sairi, we're going to put over here. Uh, Shersh is going to be doing, as usual, the majority of the work for this map. Um... My current plan, and I'm not, I haven't quite figured out how to do this, because there was, I made a failed attempt earlier, where I want to open the middle door in order to facilitate rescuing Olivia in order to dance for, uh, what was sent the steel wings? In order to dance for sure somewhere up here, because she has 13 move, so she can get to the boss pretty, you know, well. Um, I'm attacking this guy from one range with the short axe because unfortunately the archers or the snipers zone each other out such that if you attack one, if you attack the lower one at one range, 
he will be in range of the next one, this one right here. Um, so I just have to be able to live with... I have to be able to live with um, taking a sniper shot on enemy face. Which, fortunately, Shursh is, like, very fucking buff, and so she can. Um, I had to feed her the speed wings. I mean, I fed her both speed wings that we got, the desert one and the speed wings from last map. Um, I don't think I've mentioned that. But them combined with a speed tonic give her just enough speed to double the first guy who she doubled and killed. Um, I think he was, like, a war cleric. The one who she she got out of the way so that she could kill the sniper. Um, the thresholds for this map are pretty... Whew. Um, also, Anna is like... Oh, dodging the 47 is good. And the crit, and the crit. Anna is trying to clear out this room. Um, Gregor is just holding the Valkyrie back. I really would like a crit to like kill an enemy phase. Um, but we're just trying to, like, we're, the main squad is mostly going to be in the center room, is how it's going to end up working. Um, until I can get however that dance works and just, like, advance Shursh super far and just kill the commander. Um, this is another map that, uh, it incentivizes, like, it's a boss kill map that has a lot of obnoxious reinforcements. Um, so it would incentivize a fast boss kill, but there really isn't, I mean, I'm, I'm trying for one, but there really, in sort of vanilla gameplay, isn't one. Okay, good. With the dual strike, that's a kill. I mean, none of these guys can reach him, um, because they don't have horses. Uh, if Anna gets hit by the 15, I'll be very mad. Oh, she crits. Good. So, dealing with the war cleric is is frustrating because so many of my mad, so many of my strong characters, like Anna in particular, um, are mages. And war clerics have very high def uh, resistance. And normally that job would go to Shursh, who is just occupied elsewhere. So we're going to show off Sairi... Uh, hopefully she gets a crit this time. She didn't last time. Nope. Okay. That's fine. Um, I don't think any of these guys can reach anyway, because it's six move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can attack that square. Okay. Uh, attack with the killer bow, yeah. There we go. This is the map where we would be getting the second killer bow, but unfortunately, um, I'm not going to be delaying to get to this treasure room. It sucks, but it kind of just, like, is how it has to be. Rickon up, or Henry up there. Um, how do we want to do this? I guess pair up staff rescue Olivia, right? I want to see, uh, okay, so this, this, uh, numbskull would not, this numbskull would not reach down there, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be killing him with Shursh, because I think that that is out of range, out of range, in range, but that guy doesn't deal um, effective damage. Yeah, so I think we do that. We go Staff Physic, brings her up to 51. She does take a hefty chunk from him because he's got Bolganone. Um, but that's if he hits her. Um, 
Where are you? Plus, like, it's not... It's not Rex Caliber. It's not a wind magic. Um, this is why she's breaking out the Silver Axe. I still haven't given Anna the Arm Scroll. I thought I did that in preps at one point. Maybe it was for a, a one that I had to reset. She still has Lock Touch specifically for this door. And then this is the vital turn that I like. I would really like to have uh, to to kill the boss. Because I'm being beset on all sides by enemies. Um, this is just not. A, this is just a a non-fun place to be, as a wyvern, as the group in the middle. Just everyone, everyone's not having fun. But I don't think we can, I don't think we can get it. Yeah, they're, so they're chasing down this way as well. Oh, and we got fortified. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can get it unless I can, like, do this. and then potentially rescue Olivia? <laughs> so, uh, I have to rely on a 10% crit if I want to get the kill this turn. Don't know that I can do that. So I think instead, I have to do this. Which is unfortunate. Go rally layock. Kill that guy with that wind. Um The situation has gone from bad to worse. Um if only there were a way I could double her, but she's so fast um that even with the tonic. Okay. Anna is probably in the most danger of anyone. Um, she needs to do some dodging. Against a lot of enemies. Um, I am still on the clock. Because the gimmick of this map is that there are a bunch of reinforcements who show up. 
as dream units and then immediately turn red. Uh, like they, they're only green for story reasons. They're never green on the map. Um, and they will just wreck the shit out of you. Like absolutely wreck the shit out of you. And they show up in groups of four from those staircases and like the square formations. There we go, Robin. Getting some more chip in. I mean, Robin's not gonna get any chip on the uh, the war cleric because those thing those those guys have such ridiculous res that it's always gonna be no damage. I think it starts turn like four or five too. Like it's pretty soon. Okay, good. At least I got one crit. Um, Anna didn't die. That's good. I'd like it when Anna doesn't die. Um, but yeah, they come from, so like, there's these staircases that are a group of two, um, these, and these, like, they'll just come in waves. Um, I'd like to see what turn they start. Turn eight? I thought they started a lot sooner than that. Maybe it just feels that way because this map is, like, a bit of a slog to play. Okay. Well, we'll chop this guy with the steel sword, then. Because war clerics... Like, they have really, really high res, so we're going to try to take care of them with sword units. Um, since they are going to have weapon triangle and also, uh, you know, deal physical damage instead of magical. Oh well. Elwind? There we go, there we go. Rick and doing work. To weapon level B. Mm, I guess we go for Rasiri. There we go. So with Krom's dual strike, it was enough. Even though I really should get the fucking noble rapier onto him. Or actually the falchion. sure even though like she can live a silver bow sniper deals a lot of damage to her so i'd like you know to not have to deal with that um that thief is conveniently going for i believe the boots uh i mean if i have to actually play the map as it is kind of looking like i do um this is not like the worst outcome because it means I'll get a pair of boots. I wonder if I know that in Fates you can only put two boots on a single unit, um, and for this one the boots count as two. I wonder if in Awakening, because I've never actually had the Renown War boots on console, um, like on the actual cartridge itself. So I wonder if they even allow you to just like double boots her and have her <laughs> end up 15 move <laughs> which is uh ooh, you know i wonder i wonder uh are you level 13 you're level 13 okay cool okay well I feel like I'm 
Sometimes you take from the snipers. A lot. Alright, well, we'll go in with the short axe then, I guess. And then send Anna towards the left. And I guess my, like, big complicated rescue chain was kind of unnecessary. What turn are we on? Turn five. Okay, so we will need. We're, we're gonna need to, like, try to, to move fast. Um, switch, switch, okay, you can heal up Gregor, we're gonna need to still need to try to move fast, um, this might actually be the time for, uh, the superior tome, for dealing with the top treasure room. Because of these two guys, these or not trap trap the boss room. Because of these two fucks. I think we want to switch transfer like that. Staff physic like that. Just increasing his physic range with uh, Laurent. Go for it with L Thunder. Hopefully, I get some Robin ship. We do get some Robin ship. We do indeed get the Robin ship. So yeah, 24 damage. Uh, half of her fucking HP. Oh, Frederick with the clutch dual guard. We love to see it. We stand a king. I wonder when Shursh is going to get a uh, Swordbreaker. Because that'll help with uh, her accuracy against sword units, since she's always going to be at weapon triangle disadvantage, because I'm not training her lances. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. The 50% are, you know, they're sketchy. Oh, Anna, please don't die this this late into the map. Did I overestimate your ability to dodge tank? Dual guard or something. Dual guard! Hell yes. Okay. And then fortify up. Okay, so... That's to warn us that the reinforcements are coming soon. Which, yeah, that's a that's a a bad thing. Okay, I will trade a concoction onto Anna and then attack with the killer bow. Uh, and then I think we got a concoction up and have Anna lure out those tone people. The, mm, the issue becomes like, it's not just tone people there. There's uh, like this guy and this guy. So maybe instead we have Anna go this way. Have her trade superior jolt. Put the elf under on Robin. Item concoction use. And we have uh, we take care of the um, the boss room with Shersh. Like just try to have her 
maybe with the help of a dance, do it. Because they're coming on turn eight, and this is turn six. Yeah, they're coming. They start from the right-hand side, um, and then they go to the left, and then they go to the middle, I believe. Shit, so yeah, with Superior Jolt. Nope, no help from Robin. That's okay. Ugh. The dual strikes from Robin are not getting that much experience. But... We still want it. So, this is so much. Okay, 19. Chris's is confetti. Just another one of those, like, it's a it's a tonic that boosts multiple things. Okay, so we got a staff ward you. How is Robin with the superior jolt? Not gonna be great, because it's only plus yeah, it's not worth the risk. In my opinion. So we thunder this one. And then uh, allow the other one to kill itself on us on enemy phase. And uh, if the thief gets the boots chest, we kill the thief. If not, we open the boots chest. And we ended up with the boots. Um... Silver Axe you. We could actually potentially get both chests in that room. Um, because... Send Gregor over. Steel Sword that bitch. Do I have a chest key available to put on him? I have a door key. No chest keys. That's okay. Um, if the thief opens one of the chests, then uh, we can kill the thief with Gregor. It's Gregor time. Uh, send Sairi up. Send Cordelia up. For, like, potential rally from Cordelia. Uh, Henry, I don't know what you're doing. Other than, um... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I didn't factor that in. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad with that killer bow guy. Christ. Oh my god, that could have been really, really bad. Um, yeah. That was not a smart play on my part. Um, it does... So, killing the killer bow guy would be nice, because, um... He drops it. He drops a non. Like he has a forged one, but he drops a non-forged one. But like that's not going to happen. Lol. So I think what we have to do is 
Okay. Silver Axe. We take 22 in Retaliation. Rescue, Olivia. Dance. Yeah, we can rescue Olivia up there and then dance. So now, um... Which of these chests has the boots? Chest number one has the boots, two is the seraph robe. I got the boots. Missing out on the seraph robe, like, sucks, but I'm not sticking around for the reinforcements this turn. It's just not happening. Okay, attacking Pharos, I take 22 and survive in retaliation. Does Pharos have any damage boosting skills that I should be aware of? Uh, nope, just Demacel and uh, Res plus two. Oh, I have to hit two 61s here. Are there any better? So 66, okay. Still not great. But I, I don't have a choice. Because the reinforcements, they're here. Like they are they are coming. Does this guy have a rescue? You don't. Because it's a matter of, like, I could rescue Sairi, potentially. So we will, like, okay, dance you. Okay, his rescue range is going to be... So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so with Sire as a backup plan, I have to go for this. Fifty-six is not a number that I like. But it's a number I got. Oh, Jesus Christ, I hate this chapter. But we did it. And we got the Fortify. She used it, like, twice. I think they have five uses total. Um, but honestly, I'm just happy to be done with that map. Uh, especially on turn 8. That is when those bullshit reinforcements show up. Uh, yeah. This is... this is uh, I don't like this map, but this is probably the most fun I've had with it. Just like, tensely trying to rush with basically just Shursh. <laughs> oh my god. Even in 0% growth, Awakening like becomes just juggernauting with one unit. Jesus Christ. This, the absolute state of this game. <sighs> like, comment, and subscribe for more Shursh juggernauting. Bye bye.